Rise outright majority in the snap general election over the weekend. The result is expected to bring stability as the government handles billions of dollars in pandemic recovery funds from the European Union. Rahul Pathak reports from Lisbon. Well, it's the morning after the night before, and this country is still trying to digest the absolutely stunning victory by the Portuguese Prime Minister, Antonio Costa, and his ruling Socialist Party, or PS, as it's known here. Now, previously, over the last 50 years, there had only been three majority governments here in Portugal. That was until the early hours of Monday morning. Uma maioria absoluta não é o poder absoluto. An absolute majority doesn't mean absolute power. It doesn't mean to govern alone. It is an added responsibility. It means to govern with and for all Portuguese. So this majority will be a majority of dialogue with all the political parties in parliament and all Portuguese. Que representam na Assembleia da República os portugueses na sua pluralidade. The other people that will be very happy with this result will be the European Union. Costa's strong mandate means a stable government in Portugal, and that bodes well for the $50 billion that the country is due to receive from the EU as part of its pandemic recovery aid fund. That money will now be channeled into projects to boost economic growth. Yes, we will use the, the, the wind that we had today and the votes um, to uh, execute responsible budgets and also to execute the Recovery and Resilience uh, Programme, which is one of the major tasks that we'll have in the next two or three years. And we are in good conditions to take that uh, into um, um, uh, good results. Now, the socialists weren't the only ones celebrating. At the opposite end of the political spectrum, the far-right populist Chega party were the other big winners. Founded by TV sports host Andre Ventura just three years ago, they've gone from having just one seat in the 230-seat assembly to having at least 11 in the new parliament. And they are now the third biggest party in Portuguese politics. Rahul Pathak, CDTN, Lisbon.